Hi, my name is Joe and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawk Ridge Systems. And today we're going to be taking a look at what's new in 2015 of SOLIDWORKS Electrical. So added to the 2015 release of SOLIDWORKS Electrical is PNID, the ability to use process and instrumentation diagrams uh, for your piping and tubing and hoses as opposed to purely for your electrical layouts. So but prior to this we could only uh, draw electrical schematics, but now what you see in front of us is a schematic drawing, but instead what we have represented here are pipes and tubes um, along with valves and motors and pumps and things like that. So let's go ahead and add some pieces uh, to our assembly here. We're going to go ahead and add a motor symbol, a pump. So we'll come in here to our PNID section and add our motor pump symbol there. And we'll attach this to our P2, which has already been electrically uh, defined in a different drawing. So if we take a look here, we see that there's another book covering the electrical section and, and a separate book covering, covering the uh, PNID stuff. And if we come over to our power diagram, we can see that our P2 pump already exists here and has already been wired up. So now we're just defining the, uh, the water or uh, hose connections that are going to go to that. So the next step is for us to go ahead and add some pipes here. We'll go up to our schematic and we'll use the wire tool. But instead of choosing one from one of our standard wire styles, we'll choose a piping style with the properties set so that the line is reflecting uh, properties of a pipe as opposed to properties of a wire. So we'll select that. We'll draw our pipe connecting there. And there. And now we have some pipes connecting to our pump. And the next thing we need to do is add a valve here. So we'll go ahead and come back over to our PNID and just drag this valve symbol over here. And we'll assign a manufacturer part And now we can go ahead and jump into our SOLIDWORKS model once we update our symbol over here to represent a new connection on our storage tank. We can jump into our model now. And the first thing we'll do is insert that motor pump we just created. So we'll come over here to our locations. We'll find our P2 pump. There it is. Go ahead and insert that. Smart mates are going to go ahead and attach those bolt holes to the table there. And now all we have to do is use our typical piping and tubing commands and routing to go ahead and create this particular run. So if we come over here, just let's turn on our routing points. And if we right click and start a route, we can go ahead and choose these default properties. And we'll add this connection over here. And now all we have to do to get these guys to hook up is we can either merge the points or auto route, but we automatically get our elbow there being created, standard routing functionality. And the next thing we'd like to do is add that valve. So if we come over to our electrical component list here, we can find that V3 valve and insert it directly into our assembly here. And just like that, we can create piping and tubing now using the tools in SOLIDWORKS Electrical. We can create a schematic that defines the PNID information about where these pipes and tubes will be going, what kinds of valves or motors or pumps that will be in line and attached to them. And then we can use the typical SOLIDWORKS Electrical functionality of using the routing path, using routing tools, and uh, right-clicking and inserting our parts uh, directly from the electrical component list here to create our PNID layouts as well at the same time as we do our electrical work. If you like this What's New for 2015, uh, be sure to check back for more of our videos on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.